okay um let's say you you want to send the client an uh, introduction letter and um, how should you start so technically this is your new company or your company and you found some new clients and you want to send them an introduction letter right what do you need to put in it and yeah what kind of template can you create and yeah what should you do when you send it to them so always keep in mind have a goal and when you send a letter so let's look at the letter let's start with the subject first mm -hmm. so we have a subject it's something you can send an email but uh, it depends how you communicate with them so what let's say what your company does what your company so your company can do for your client and seriously talk about the benefits for them yeah don't talk about everything else what you have accomplished talk about the benefits seriously okay let's see yeah this is both this is not both okay you start with the tier calls the customer name let's say customer name i forgot to make it bold so we're gonna start like this and then you'll be like okay um i think do i need to copy it yeah it's gonna be a long letter okay you can start it at and then So at my company, at uh, your company, they tell them what you have been doing the couple of years. We have been developing, and then you can talk about your product or services, product service it's nice to put a year since year yeah I'm gonna write everything down and explain then explain everything yeah by basing ourselves on the futures um, larger companies we have created innovative innovative yeah i will use user friendly but it, let's say you're making applications that are now available small and medium companies yeah so technically you can talk about the services and things you provide let's say you provide here application and services you can talk about those things how much experience you have and the thing is if you are sending this to a small medium-sized company I wouldn't put this in the paragraph. I just said so. I would, I would, I would just put companies of corporates. And the reason I'm saying this is because nobody wants their company to be called small. They want to say tell them other people that they have a small company, but they don't want to say, "Hey, you have." They don't want other people to say you have a small company. You understand? It's a way of thinking. Yeah. But I wouldn't do that here. Yeah. I would change it a little bit. It depends what kind of customer it is. But if you send it to large company, they will be oh okay. But small, medium-sized company, it doesn't work for us. 
so this is a little bit tricky yeah this is really a little bit tricky because if this is available for little small and middle sized company does it means that will it work for larger company so if you're sending this to specific customer clients think about who they are and just sending cold mails doesn't always help so it's better to have a person where you can talk to them but it's difficult to get in contact with the person so keep in mind this is something you can put in it but uh, don't rely too much on it okay let's talk about your expertise or expertise in so so here you talk about your specialty specialty special this can be anything huh? and it's important to tell them in which industry you're working but most people don't care most people care more that you solve their problems so if I go somewhere and if I can solve your problem and you have a sole person who sent you a letter what who would you listen to would you listen to me or would you listen to the salesperson so talk about the problem that they're having let's see your expertise in your specialty and in industry provide us with the knowledge yeah knowledge is the best word here um, knowledge to develop solutions that answer the needs of today's clients the problem with this is this is really general when i adjust this most of the time i will think about okay what's the clients talk about them don't talk about general people so the may i see you have same um, company same company as the other person but you work different i see it seems that you encounter these kind of problems. You understand? The solutions allow you to this is increase productivity. Mm, that's the intake. People will listen. Reduce the upper The problem with this is everybody say this and the the thing is people will get immune to this solution the best way to get in to into people's mind is to talk about increasing the productivity with 50 percent and tell them how because if you tell them how how it will increase they are more willing to listen to you reducing the cost okay how much and how are you going to reduce it that's something that people need to keep in mind when you write this letter and you introduce yourself so this is a template but when you look at the template this gives you an idea okay if i'm looking at the way to increase their productivity how i'm going to do that do i know something about the company don't just send this to everyone it's not going to work yeah so this is something that you can use um let's say you win a prize you can put it in it I wouldn't do that. But price can give you recognition. You get recognition for your product and services. Yeah. So let's say you sent a document that explains how it works. You can put this. Uh, please take a few minutes to read the close documents so depends how much you sent see how um, yeah I'm not going to type it again companies and then here you see you see product or services
her. Can up there mice yeah so here watch out for this you can put department or process departments big company has departments small companies have process keep that in mind if you're starting out and you're sending this letter if you don't know that thing please don't send the letter because you're just ruining uh, it for yourself so remember Big companies have departments, small companies they have process. We have process how to make things better. If you don't understand how they work, it's too bad for you. I invite contact us today so that we can discuss in details how we can help you. This is something you can do, but most time people don't do that. People don't contact you. I'm not saying I'm not discourage you to send this letter, but what I'm saying is, if you send this letter, think about how much time you're gonna put into develop the letter, because sometimes when you write a letter, you will not get a response from a company because you didn't send it to the correct person. So that's something you need to keep in mind when you write this letter so this is the template you see there's a lot of room for you to put your own things into it but so standard voice instruction letter it's all about you but use it as a guideline a guideline that can help you okay I'm gonna contact this company and this is how I'm going to help them so again let's go to the um, to the signature and then we need to have a proper signature let's say this is a dummy signature at the end of your email most time you have a signature you can put it here but here you can put it here and this should be a proper email and yeah if I'm correct I did something wrong right yeah I did something wrong but okay so yeah, this is something you can send to clients. Remember, there's a lot of room to make it your own. Keep in mind, you need to talk about them and talk about how you can solve it for them. If you have a um, brochure where you can explain how you can solve it for them, that would be really good. Yeah. So if you have questions about it, just go on Discord. The link is uh, downstairs. You can see it. And on the Discord, you can ask me questions. So in the last end, you can ask me questions about this. I have a dream, that's all I need I'll make it happen with some work and belief Know what I want, so I'll take it on I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong Let's break it down for a minute I want the crown, I'm gon' get it You hear me loud, man, I'm winning Yeah, Charlie Sheen will be